All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, all right, so like I said, uh, this video here is going to be about uh, Maurice Carver talking to uh, Don Mayfield about uh, Pitt General. Pitt General was stolen back in the day, and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of the old time franchisers believe that Indian Sunny had something to do with uh, with the theft of Pitt General. That being said, um, people also say and uh, believe that uh, Jesse Rod's Grand Champion Midnight comes down from Pitt General. Uh, you know, Grand Champion Midnight uh, comes down from the Indian Sunny Blood. So that being said, uh, enjoy this video and uh, here we go. I'm not going to go through no, no shit to get him. 
eyeball don't beat. I didn't tell him. I said, I'm telling you the truth. And he went for it. He said, well, God damn. I said, I'm telling you right. I said, uh, uh, an eyeball don't mean a shit thing to him. And I said, uh, I just, uh, ate this shit. So I said, I told, uh, they feel let me, uh, take care of it. He said, well, well, you got to have a patch, did he? He said, I'll get the dog there. He said, I'll feel the dog there. I said, don't make a rat there. No, you get it. Yeah. I said, just go and just be sure of the devil. Yeah. Well that, well, that sounds great. I believe that it's some pleasure to get him than uh, sit back and wait. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, when y'all was out there in uh, California with Benny Bob? Yeah. You know the long ride that y'all took? Yeah. Do you know the scene he was in on that? Oh, the long ride? Yeah, the long ride to the pit. Do y'all know the car was only a mile and a half from the truck? Yeah, you was less than two miles from the truck. Well, I'd have never gotten the truck and let him close up on me, but the man's wife got in. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. I've got a little bit of close to the truck. That was all all made up uh, two or three weeks in front of the the match, what they were going to do. Oh, man, you should have been uh, on the truck. And Sonny copped out to it. But he said he didn't know about it. But uh, he said that they had planned it, and the reason they had planned it is on the account of what happened to Freddie down here in the match with General. And uh, he said that uh, they thought Freddie got done wrong and everything, and that's the reason they they did that that way. They planned it, do it that way, and everything. And then he caught himself, you know, telling all about it. And then he said, "But but I didn't know about it until afterwards." And he, all he did was just cop out on himself. And, uh, see, uh, it was put up like, uh, Sonny was with Rick and, uh, Willie on the deal, see? Yeah. They invited him. Yeah. Well, see, he phoned and got them to invite him, uh, himself, see? Yeah. And it, in other words, it was up to him to steer them into all, all of that, you know, and he was on their side. Yeah. And that's why I say they're going to loop through them when he comes as part of the country. And uh, they didn't talk about that, so they, uh, they're going to send him back thinking about it. But that's neither here nor there. I mean, don't mention it. Oh, no. If Tommy's stealing them dogs, I can if I knew, Tom, that he had the, all three of the dogs, if I knew it, for sure. Well, I tell you, boys, now, this, it does seem awful funny that uh, Leo got wait, this wait phone call. Wait, don't leave yet. Wait just a minute. Huh? It seems awful funny that Leo got this phone call, and then I've turned around and got three phone calls this week. And one man was right here in my yard and sit here, and they ain't know, he don't even know who in the hell Leo Canard is. And he said, told me, he says, your dog ain't the only one that's out there. Said the Reno dog and the Eli dog both is there. Now, that, yeah, he flat told me that. And I'll tell you what, the man bought $700 worth of dogs from me. He bought $650 worth of dogs from Willie and did this on in two days on a weekend and yeah. give checks. And we didn't think that, uh, the, he, we thought the checks were wasn't worth a shit because the boy didn't give a damn what he bought. He just flat didn't give a damn. He just looked at a dog and buy it. And I mean, he bought some that uh, wasn't too good. And I flat told him. I told him they were good, good, and how they acted and everything. And he seen one of them roll, and it wasn't worth a darn. And he gets six hundred for it. And uh, I, I couldn't believe this. And I knew it had to be a hot check. And I jumped in the car and went and drove to the bank, which was in Waco. And the check went through just like with good cookies. And the boy's going to California, went to California two days ago. He's uh, uh, out there with Sonny and uh, that bird saw us. And, uh, I mean, the boy didn't have no reason to be lying or anything. I mean, I didn't even really ask him. But really called me and told me that the boy told him all this stuff, see. And the boy called me, and I kind of brushed him off. And then he went to Willie's and uh, talked to Willie and everything and uh, bought the dogs from Willie. And Willie phoned me and told me what he'd done. And then he comes up my house the next day. And then, like I said, he bought uh, seven, uh, $700 worth from me. 
Well, he's got someone backing him. Uh, yeah. No, he, he, he's tied up with a rich guy. Well. That's what it is. And uh, he, he just, uh, I just started kind of him hawing around him, thing, asking if he uh, seen any sign of that general dog and everything. We got to talking, and he didn't come right out and tell me. And then the more we got acquainted and everything, and more beer we drank and everything, and then he told me about it. He told me, he said, if you just go on out there at the reservation, he said, he's there. And uh, told me all about it. And then I couldn't really believe it because I didn't know this guy. I didn't know if he would be just saying this or what. And then I get two more t- uh, telephone calls this week. And says so talking the same thing. And these are all together different people that don't even, uh, not even acquainted with this guy. And that's why yeah, I think. There's so many people mad at him out there. Yeah, I know it. But this guy's not even mad at him. Uh, the, uh, one of the guys that told me about it, the one that was here, uh-huh. he's not even mad at him. As a matter of fact, Sonny is going to work a dog for him. And so he ain't mad at him. Sonny's going to work a dog for Sarah? For what? For Sarah? No, no, no. This guy is, uh... Oh, no, uh, I thought you were talking about Sarah. No, uh, th- uh, this guy... No, I don't care about who he is. Uh, uh-huh. it's a real odd name, but Gunker or something like that. He's yeah. not even in the dog game good. He's just now getting started. He's a friend of Sarah. He's a friend of Sarah's. Yeah. And uh, he's a friend of Sonny's. Yeah. And uh, Sonny's going to work it out. He's and not, you know, real tight with him, but uh, he's pointed with him. Yeah. Don't call his hair. No, sure don't. I don't know him. You made him? Yeah. He's a crazy son of a bitch. Damn sure he is. Shot cut, man. He's a man that sees them people off all the time when he loses. Is that he? He's the old goofy son of a bitch. He's a uh, he's a goofy son of a bitch. Well, that's him. He's, he's about half buddy. Uh, we always feel lucky with some money in that bank. Well, that's what I thought. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I nearly slipped when I seen there was money in the bank because they're buying them on the weekend with the checks and everything. Yeah. And, uh, well, as a matter of fact, he's supposed to come back out here. And if I couldn't send him anything, I was going to send him to you because the boy just keeps blowing that money. Yeah. If there's anything else, nobody would we'll get it. Well, would you run out of the dog send him to me? Uh, well, I'm about out. I'm about out, too. <laughs> they're, they're buying my yearly. Yes. Yeah, I mean, called me today and said, what do you think for that? That big white yearling that's got a bullet on it. Oh, that's good. I said, I don't want to sell it to you, too. I want to bang him up. Uh, school him out. He's like, oh, I'll take a chance, Tony. <laughs> yeah, we'll goofy. Go on. Well, I'll be damned. Well, look, Bob, be sure to let me hear something. Okay, Mark, you don't know how much I appreciate this. Well, anything I can do. Uh, uh, and if you go out there, if you don't throw him go with you, or just holler. Well, I guarantee you, we'll take you, we'll get Nikki and let me put that big horse stick in it. <laughs> <laughs> you think he wouldn't talk? I guarantee you he'd do it. I'll admit to Kent one dime, but he's a hell. Yeah, I'll look at it. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. All right. All right, so there you have it, folks. Uh, serious history here. Um, as you heard, man, um, not only... Pitt General was stolen, but Boudreaux's Eli and uh, and a couple of uh, Ed Crenshaw dogs also. So um, I believe Reno. But uh, that being said, you know, that's why, you know, Indian Sunny, a lot of the stock, you know, they would come out, you know, high performance, high performance, like high performance and high percentage dogs would always be coming out of his yard. You know what I'm saying? So that being said, you know, tying it back to the limey blood and, and how when you cross the 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 Indian sunny blood, uh, when you cross it back to the to the limey blood coming through the alligator blood, you get a lot of throwbacks, which basically means you get some high caliber dogs. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned for another video.